A Myanmar court has sentenced two Reuters journalists to seven years in prison. Now, the uh, reporters were convicted of breaching the country's secrecy law during their reporting of the Rohingya massacre. Reporters Va Loan and Kwa Soi have been held in Yangon prison since their arrest in December last year. The Reuters editor in chief issued a response to the verdict, calling it a sad day for Myanmar, the two Reuters journalists, and the press everywhere. This is a major step backward in Myanmar's transition to democracy, cannot be squared with the rule of law or freedom of speech, and must be corrected by the Myanmar government as a matter of urgency. We will not wait while Walon and Cha so U suffer this injustice and will evaluate how to proceed in the coming days, including whether to seek relief in an international forum. This is sending a signal to the rest of the Myanmar reporters that if you cross the military, if you cross the government, they can make your life a living hell. And uh, we saw in this court uh, very little presented in terms of real evidence to indicate that there was a violation. Uh, it looked like a setup to us from, from the get-go. And the, the truly ironic and horrible thing about this is that these two reporters are now slated to spend longer time in prison uh, than the soldiers who killed the 10 Rohingya uh, that was the subject of their story in the first place. Meanwhile, United Nations in Myanmar has called for the release of the jailed reporters. The two journalists were investigating a massacre of 10 Rohingya men and boys in Rakhine State. The journalists say that they were invited to dinner by police who handed them documents before the pair was arrested. The duo, both Myanmar nationals, were charged with violating the Official Secrets Act, a draconian British colonial era law. The case had sparked international outrage over the attack on media freedom and has intensified the glare on Myanmar security forces over its crackdown against the Rohingya Muslim minority in Rakhine. The military crackdown last year has driven 700,000 Rohingyas into neighboring Bangladesh, carrying with them accounts of atrocities, rape, murder and arson by Myanmar security forces. Some foreign governments and international organizations have described the Myanmar security forces crackdown against Rohingya minority as ethnic cleansing.